Hello, G Nation! We are alive and we got a very special blog, a weekend blog that is definitely not the usual cut and paste we're getting. This one's pretty unusual and pretty complicated, really. So we're going to have a look at that. We're going to wait for more people to get in, obviously, but yeah, it is a pretty long one. <laughs> Not necessarily bad, Godflow. Just not your usual one. There's actually a lot of resources on it. Well, there's no link to give already, Lowe's Daddy. It's not posted yet. They usually post it after the stream. All right, so we have a lot of people on already, so we uh, might get this under it. We're still going to wait like maybe five minutes or so because I literally just went live right now. But uh, you guys uh, can already start to guess who you think it is. I can tell you it is a brand new character. Again. Oh, Marex with the rate of 13. Hello, people. Thanks for the rate, buddy. Well, sorry about that. Ken Shamrock, I just said it's someone new. <laughs> Kevin Cross, Ezekiel, Cody, Mabel, Dexter Loomis. Mabel again. Why is everyone saying Mabel? What's up with Mabel these days? <laughs> it's me in the game, yeah. <laughs> Triple H. Triple H wouldn't be new.
The start of, the Stardust count for Cody, not according to WWE at least. <laughs> Val Venus, Paul Heyman, Rodzilla, Jesse Ventura, Brian Nobbs. Man, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Dino, Dino Bravo, Ludwig. Uh, Tier is pretty good for tricksters, and at six stars, uh, he definitely is pretty good. I can tell you, it is not me. <laughs> Knoxville. Now, we might also have some gameplay of that superstar after. I don't know if it's ready or not, but I was told we might. I don't know if we're going to have much time to go over it because the blog is going to take a while. <laughs> I got to record it too because I started to recording it earlier and uh, it got updated. So I had to trash everything I started doing. So I said, yeah, let's just wait until it, it's live and I don't have to redo it. <laughs> Bad Bunny. I think he actually he actually won a Grammy or something last week. I think I saw in the news. All right, let's have a, a look. I'm actually gonna be recording this too because that's what I'll be posting on the blog too. And uh, also don't be surprised. If you're asking questions, maybe the moderator can answer them, but I'm unlikely to be reading the chat while I'm doing the blog because it's a lot to go over with. But we'll definitely try to answer everything I can, rather if I see it or after. All right. Record this. Hello champions, I'm F, because I come before G, and I'm here and we got some breaking news coming up right up from Scopely HQ. Apparently there's a new blog with information coming. Keep in mind those are always subject to change and it is not G's fault if anything changes. He just reads whatever is on it right now. So with no further ado, let's get on. Back to you G. Thanks F. Alright, I got this. So, you guys are going to want to watch and listen carefully for this one because it is not your usual blog. There's a lot of info, a lot of resources, and a lot of new stuff on it. First off, let me give you a hint, if I may, as to who that brand new superstar is. Freaking Cody Rhodes, baby! Cody! The very, very, very requested Cody Rhodes is actually making it in the game. Actually didn't think we were gonna get him that soon. I thought he would he would be like way down the way down the road. And yeah, we are getting Cody, and it is awesome. So Let's have a look at that blog. It is the American Nightmare Returns. Hey, champion, it finally happened. Brand new Cody Rhodes has returned to the WWE and WWE champions with an incredible repertoire of rewards. Earn Cody Rhodes shards in various ways throughout the contest, along with new Tier 5 Fury 2 medals, 6-star tokens, ultimate straps, and more. See here, he's going to have a choose six power gems of strength 50k, and he's going to have choose six green gems pin bar will not move. Also special for Cody, 
a six star evolution dream come true. Brand new Cody Road can be evolved from five star gold to six star bronze with shards and only one five star emerald token until September 7th. That means you do not need 10 six star bronze token to get Cody to six star bronze until September 7th if you get it. <laughs> I see money, money sign. It's fucking Cody Road. Cody Road. The fuck are you expecting? <laughs> Please note, screenshots are taken from a test environment. Text numbers and dates are subject to change. Schedule and pay attention. American Nightmare. The event itself is going to start on September 2nd at noon Pacific. It ends on the 6th at 10 a.m. Pacific. The Faction Frenzy, which is 24 hour only, is going to be on September 2nd at noon Pacific until the 3rd at noon Pacific. The faction boss is also going to be 24 hours only from the 3rd at noon Pacific until the 4th at noon Pacific. The Gauntlet Blitz is going to be 24 hours only as well on the 5th at noon Pacific until the 6th at 10 a.m. Pacific. That's actually 22 hours. That's not 24 hours. The limited time flash market is going to be 24 hours only on the 3rd at noon Pacific until the 4th at noon Pacific. Now the faction boss info. Not so mysterious anymore. Required faction boss coins can be earned in faction boss battle. The higher the difficulty, the more coins you will get. And yes, there is changes to faction boss, by the way. Remember, each level's reward can be earned four times by beating the boss with a different style. Beating a level earns the reward of all levels before it. Winning with a full team of faction mates gives two times the faction boss coins. This time, you can battle through 20 levels starting with a four star superstar to climb up the mid level and use higher rarities to process further and survive the upper level so the, the upper level so this is basically so that uh lower rosters can actually get higher than level five or whatever it is scaled what with what was from one to twelve up to one to twenty which means that the difficulty of the previous level 12 is going to be about what level 20 will be now. So people will be able to climb higher. And uh, I guess it's going to be more fun for lower rosters. Battle tip. General, a defensive faction boss that utilizes a black gem shield and a damage limiter move. Boss breaker usage will again be important in tackling the American Nightmare. Essential, raise the roof. Damage limiter mitigation, regeneration X, bonus MP generation per gem break, and alternatives, crack the shield with the shield penetration. Superstar strategy, use superstars with the following characteristics. Focus superstars with raise the roof BB and regeneration X BB. Generate multiply gems which utilize increased multiply gem effect and soft counter to increase MP costs. The generate black gems which take down black gem shield and utilize increased black gem generation. You can redeem your earned boss coin in the faction boss shop for faction boss promoter shards, coins, TP, token, medals, 120 shards for brand new Cody Rhodes a random ultimate strap and tons of superstar shards that will help you with your next six star bronze superstar evo please note if a team member disconnects or leave an ongoing boss battle the team will earn the full amount of points for that battle and again i stress do not freaking queue with someone at the other end of the planet you are gonna get a horrible connection. Queue with someone that is within your zone. If you're in North America, don't queue in Europe. It's common sense, you're gonna have a shit connection. A lot of the connection issue is 
because of that. People are just not looking what they're queuing with and they just connect to the other side of the planet and people get disconnected or you get lagged out or stuff like that. Make sure you connect and everyone in your group connects with the closest available. Available free shards, solo contest, 650 shards, faction contest leaderboard, which is 24 hours only, up to 400 shards. Faction boss competition, which is 24 hours only, is 150 shards. Faction boss shop has 120. Limited time tours have 200. And an overall of, well, it should be up to 1520 out of 2000 since it's up to 400 for the leaderboard of faction event. Get the rest in offers and event on the portal, shard loot, or future contest. Solo contest, play the limited time tour, gauntless blitz, and the 24 hours only faction contest for massive points and 650 shards of brand new Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare. Get further with offers and loot and earn new tier five Fury 2 metal sets, which by the way, spoiler alert, they're 40% instead of 20. Still need two. And an American Nightmare Return logo that lets you choose dreamy rewards. Now points, earn up to 6 million points in American Nightmare tours throughout the weekend. Earn nearly 5 million points in the American Nightmare Faction Boss Competition on Saturday. Claim 200k points in the shop. Claim 200k points from the store if you purchase this week's Backstage Pass. So... They're usually good bad value, even better value now. Spend one American Nightmare loot, that's 14,000, no cap. The first one though is an additional 140K. Recruit Cody Road, the American Nightmare during the first 24 hours, hopefully. 1.5 million once, and a max milestone is 15 million. Now the regular rewards, those you can get for free. 500 Cody Road American Nightmare Shards, 6 American Nightmare Shard Bags, which are back to 25 shards now, as opposed to the 20 everyone aided last week. 14,580 Eat Wave Solo Contest Points, 50 Chad Gable Shards, 250 Otis Alpha Academy Evo Tokens, 2 5 Star Emerald Tokens, 5 5 Star Diamond Tokens, five five star gold tokens seven five star silver tokens nine four star gold tokens 12.47 million coins that's a lot more than usual for the free part and 800 tp now the additional rewards which is the stuff you got to spend money to reach there is four tier five fury two metal sets one per slot and as mentioned, those are 40% instead of the usual 20% for Fury. One American Nightmare Returns logo, which is an item as monumental as the American Nightmare's return to WrestleMania, redeemed for the Red Razor gear, 10 six-star bronze Hall of Fame tokens, or 12 brand new tier five Fury 2 medals. Four American Nightmare Contest Shard Bags, four American Nightmare Shards Bags, 10,000 Eat Wave Solo Contest Points, 250 Chad Gable of Phi Academy Shards, 35 Five Star Emerald Tokens, 16 Five Star Gold Tokens, 24 Star Gold Tokens, 67.5 million coins, and 7,100 TP. A uh, top 200 leaderboard reward. And yes, he's a striker, by the way. One up to five star gold. Cody Road, your American Nightmare for the top 20. 4,000 Cody Road, American Nightmare shards. 25 star emerald tokens. One ultimate strap with up to 100% gem damage. One ultimate strap with bleed immunity. And 15 million coins. That's a leaderboard reward.
Now, the American Nightmare Faction Boss Competition. Battle the Faction Boss and earn Boss Shop Currency for American Nightmare Shard Bag, Contest Points, and Tons of Coins. Up to 4.2 million points in the top 800 leaderboard. And again, it's 24 hours for the Faction Boss. No, he unlocks at 2,000 shards, so 4-star gold. Assemble your faction and battle the faction boss together for awesome rewards. Earn boss shop currency, that's 200 point each, no limit. Defeat the boss on level 15, 5,000 5, points, no limit. Defeat the boss on level 9 with Cody Rhodes, a million point, one limit. Defeat the boss on level 9 with Razor Ramon using Machismo, 500k once. On level 9 with Xavier Woods, King Woods, 500k once. On level 9 with Shawn Michaels, Rocker, 500k once. And on level 13 with Stunning Steve Austin, 500k once. With a max milestone of 8 million. Now the rewards, 13 American Nightmare Contest Shard Bags. 1 American Nightmare Champion Shard Bag. 2 American Nightmare Shard Bags. 4.7 million American Nightmare Solo Contest Points and 32 million coins. Now those 32 million coins are on the Faction Bus solo event. Yeah, there's a lot more resources throughout the whole event in all the different sections. A lot more than what we're used to. The top 800 leaderboard reward get up to 4.2 million American Nightmare solo contest points. Now the Faction Frenzy contest, which again, is 24 hours so a faction event for 24 hours limited time only collect cody road the american nightmare shards in the solo contest offers and shop event on the portal to progress in this contest and climb up the leaderboard for up to 400 cody road shards earn a six star bronze token american nightmare legacy blitz tickets and with that, a chance at more Cody Road shards in the special shards loot. There will be two type of loot also this weekend. See that later. Assemble your faction and battle the faction bus together for awesome reward. Down up any superstar, that's 20 point. Down up any legend era, that's 80 point. Collect Cody Road's American Nightmare shards, 10,000 points. Spend a five star emerald token. 400k points and a max milestone is going to be 600 million now one thing to note here the big part that is collect cody road shards there is no shards in the loot that is going to be active during this event all the shards you can get are from the event milestones or i'm guessing there's probably going to be some in offers so you can't get any shards on the loot itself it's going to be posters only for the loot that is going to be active at that point. Spend a five star. Uh, well, we already went through the rest. Rewards 14 Ultra Seek and Destroy props. Those are the props that are choose six gem to destroy. 38 The Chosen One props, which is the prop that is choose three gems to make into black gems. One six star bronze token. 150,000 Focus Boss Breaker Coins, 16 American Nightmare Contest Shard Bags, 7 American Nightmare Legacy Blitz Tickets, which will be used for the Blitz we'll see later, 6,000 Eat Wave Solo Contest Points, 36,000 Eat Wave Faction Competition Points, 200 Eat Wave Prize Wall Medallions, 2.5k Eat Wave Keys, and 32 million coins. Again, this is the uh, faction event. Now, keep in mind, I know a lot are probably like, well, fuck that shit. I don't have those characters. I can't do shit. Well, you might not be able to do much, but whatever you are able to do will give you a lot more than what you usually get. So that alone is a win for you. The top 100 leaderboard rewards. 400 Cody Road American Nightmare Shards. Three random legendary modern strap with guaranteed bonus.
limited time tour complete the chapters in this limited time tour to earn american nightmare shard bags contest points and resources earn a six star bronze token in the first challenge chapter with either brand new cody Rhodes or razor ramon oozing machismo still pretty rare character but i kind of like the fact that it's not only the new character now razor is still very damn rare but at least you got a second option if you don't get the weekly new guy friday open chapter with any dusty roads friday again the american nightmare challenge challenge one at six star it is with cody rose or razor ramon oozing machismo on normal any ray mysterio or any randy orton or any dusty road on hard and any modern era on l Saturday is going to be the Alpha Academy plus Modern Era with Chad Gable, Alpha Academy, and Otis, Alpha Academy. Sunday is going to be any Rey Mysterio with Rey Mysterio, WCW's Ultimate Cruiserweight as the Special Contest Superstar. Sunday is going to be the American Nightmare Challenge 2 with any Razor Ramon, any New Day, or any Raw. Bonus points with Razor, Ramon, Oozing, Machismo on Normal, Xavier Woods, King Woods on Art, and Thierry All Day on L. And the rewards for all that, 6 million American Nightmare Solo Points, 1 American Nightmare Premium Shard Bag, 4 American Nightmare Shard Bags, 1 6 Star Bronze Token, 7.8 million coins, three five-star diamond tokens, three five-star gold tokens, four five-star silver tokens, six four-star gold tokens, and more. Now the Blitz, which again is only going to be active for 24 hours. This one is going to be another of those, either you got what you need and do it, or you don't and cash out. Watch out for Sunday's Legacy Shard loot and offers in case you are close to the unlock. Top shards value for a bargain. Progress in the faction contest for required blitz tickets and earn legacy loot coins or solo contest points in this blitz. Now, the requirement is four people and there is four slots. They're on the bottom. It is any Rey Mysterio at five star, any Dusty Rhodes at five star, any Randy Orton at five star and open for a six star. Again, this is a very restricted blitz on purpose. But if you can't play the blitz, you can redeem one blitz tickets for one American Nightmare Legacy bag in the shop where you also can find more bags to purchase with cash and reach full, full pulls for the loot. So you can get loot pulls with your tickets if you can do the blitz and save yourself a day, basically. <laughs> Uh, there will be an offer. You get 10 pulls for 3 bucks in the shop. And I ask, it is unlimited purchase. Which you probably have to be careful because if you start doing a lot of those, your credit card might get blocked by your bank or Exola. So you might, if you plan on doing a lot of those, I also ask there will be more expensive offers that are more beneficial with what's in it. Because if it was all the 3 bucks, like, if you do it 10 times, your bank is probably going to block you because they're going to think something's up. But yeah, if you see here, 90 of them is going to be for a feature. So you could, like, at, at the worst offer of 10 pull for 3 bucks, it means it's 90 pull for 27 bucks. Now the rewards. Three American Nightmare Legacy Bags, which contain either Legacy Loot Coin or Contest Points. 5,000 American Nightmare Solo Contest Points and 2 million coins. And this is all per Blitz run. And I think we saw earlier you get 17 tickets, something like that. Now the first loot, the 5 star gold loot and more. A dream came true. The American Nightmare is finally in this posters only loot. Get brand new Cody Road at 5 star gold and celebrate his return to WWE with rare focused superstars and gear to help you defeat him in Faction Bust. All posters are 4 star bronze and higher. 
don't miss out. And there's only posters in the loot, like we said. You see here, there's Cody Rowe, there's Razor, there's Ray. And there's going to be the Sunday Unlimited Legacy Shard loot, which is the one we saw earlier at 10 for 3 bucks. Shards in the Flash Market and this Shard loot will help you with the unlock. Find 10 pulls for $3 in store on Sunday and finish off your unlock with this limited time source of Cody Road shards, including poster and huge shard amounts to help upgrade your superstars. Now, it's not only Cody shards. It's shards of a bunch of guys. And this is where you can get those Cody shards. So that's why I said earlier, the faction event that requires you to get shards well, that loot won't be active during the faction event is active. Well, your shards are going to need to get either from the store or from uh, early milestones. And get an extra chance at 4-star gold Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare, in or from giveaway, which is obviously not active yet. And that is it for the blog. So definitely not your usual cut and paste blog. This one is very different. There's a lot of... Uh, moving parts in there and we finally got a freaking cody rhodes all right is he gonna be better than striker sean i don't know it's cody i expect he's gonna be damn good Check here if he's ready. Mm. They're in the process of sending it. Let's see. There yet. Yeah, I might need to restart my game. I did not check demon. What did you miss? A lot. That's what you missed. Cody Rhodes Striker, are we? Yeah, the blog took like 30 minutes. <laughs> and there you go, Cody. Oh, shit. All the face is off. Face definitely looks a bit odd. Trainer ability twenty five thousand, thirty percent more health. That's a lot of health at six stars. But that's a trainer ability, though. It's not a coach ability. Links with Raw and Modern Era and No Gear.
Right. Does add the tattoo on the neck. Oh, I was just told he's meant to be a coach, not a trainer. So that will be fixed. Definitely better as a coach than as a trainer. All right, let's have a look at the moves. The figure four leg lock, 10 MP black move, submission generate 40 random submission gems and do 133.3 thousand damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into power gems of strength 9,000. The drop down punch, five MP green move, deals 66.4K damage and choose six gems to make into black gems. The bionic elbow, six MP yellow move, deals 78.1K damage and choose one gem to make into two turn juggernaut gem that will increase your black MP by nine on every countdown turn and make 13 random power gems into multiply gems of strength 13 at the end of the countdown. The disaster kick, six MP black move deals 77.2K damage and choose six gems to make into power gems of strength 55,000. The crossroad, three MP green move deal 47.4K damage and destroy three random green gems. The snap scoop power slam, eight MP yellow move deal 87.3K damage and choose eight multiply gems to destroy. And the Cody Cutter, six MP black move deal 64.6K damage and choose six gem to make into green gems. The pin bar will not move. And the six star move, which we don't know the value is going to be a diving moonsault that make power gems into black gems. Here. All right. You think he sucks, Nick? I don't think he sucks. Didn't say to choose black. I don't think it said that, no. Check the blog again. Choose six green gem pin bar will not move. So yeah, that's what it said. All right, so definitely see a lot of combos here. Uh, Yeah, there's a lot of combos you can do here. Power uh, gems. Two yellows and golf. Oh, I can see like five or six movesets easy. Like you can use those two and pretty much any of the blacks and greens for one. He has no, well, he has a submission. That's a, that's a finisher. Let's go with the first so we can go. So we got the green here that's going to make black. We got the submission here, which is going to leave a bunch of power gems. Now we need something to bring us that is black that is going to give us green back. So you, this one. There's not going to be a ton of damage out of that, although in a feud setup, that submission is going to do a lot more. Uh, 
Mm. Triple black. Man. Right, so that looks pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of doing previews live because that literally leaves me no time to think about shit. <laughs> I just got to wing it. Uh, what were the move costs? Yeah, so we're going to go definitely with the uh, drop down punch here because I don't even need to put any MP trainers with that. I can just put Santa and I'm going to have my 5 MP. Okay. Uh, choose so I don't really need my choose black to be more because it's already going to give me more than I need. I can decide to boost my choose green since it's a no move pin bar and that's going to do more damage. I can boost my submission, which is definitely what I would do in a feud setup. We're still going to do it now. And don't move damage. Last six turns. And we're going to put Mr. Rocky as well. So now we're we are at a 200k submission for seven turns. And do I put Austin to increase it again, or do I make more greens? Hmm. I think I'm going to go with Austin anyway, just because that's probably not a moveset I would use outside of feuding anyway. And we're at 266k. Keep in mind this, well, the base would be increased by 200% uh, on a feud setup. All right, so that's pretty decent. Let's go pick us an opponent. Oh, I don't know, DBL, we haven't tried. That's the first move set we're trying. Oh, apparently Cody is a coach now, so let's just kill this. Might be why it crashed my game too. Normally stuff that is generated from the submission itself, more often than not, are not going to be increased by trainers and such. Sometimes they do, like Multiply, for example, they do. I got to start working on, I never, I always forget I, I have the Survivor Series road to do. Over. Can I? I can't. Oh, 
Oh, can you use Cody here? Coach now. Yeah, now he's a coach. All right, so it's fixed. Oh, let's put a title on it. Crap. Faction bus is Saturday, if I remember, Evo. We'll go over the blog again later, but I think it was Saturday. Uh, I'm going to put some fury on him. Put random ones. You would do double L for striker. Why? He's never going to get it. He's a striker, great. And what was the move? I think it was black and green. Yeah, black and green. Yeah, pretty much the same. Whatever one I get. Do I have a green medal here? I guess we're gonna take that one. Black's probably better since it's the other move, but whatever. Not a lot of damage on it anyway. Skill plate. Now we are gonna have a black submission here. Add the jacket. Mine up. Is it that? Yep, three gem, increase your yellow and black gem damage. Although, we're probably going to go for green damage, I think, right? Uh, probably because of the pin bar. Although, we're going to be equally doing some damage with the blacks, too. So, it's not like we're putting multipliers with that. So yeah, you can go with the Ronda plate or you can go with the uh, All Art plate. Yeah, I'm going to go with the All Art because it's the one here and I'm going to try to recycle it. We're winging this anyway. If it doesn't work, we're going to try it another way. All right, let's record this. All right, so first move set. We're going to add a figure four leg lock, 10 MP black move, submission generate 40 random sub gems, and do 133.3k damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into power gems of strength 9,000. The drop down punch, 5 MP green move, deals 66.4k damage, and choose six gems to make into black gems. The Cody Cutter, 6 MP black move, deals 64.6k damage, and choose 6 gem to make into green gems. The pin bar will not move. Now, none of that really have a ton of damage. Uh, submission is pretty significant, although we would see the best output from it in a feud setup, which we're not right now. 
And we're going to be using Zombie KO so that the Black Submission lasts three more turns and my Black Gems do 20% more damage. Going to put in also Striker Austin so that my sub damage is increased by 50%. Uh, for the same, we have Rocky here, another 50% for the Black Sub and last one more turn. And I got Santa Ogan, which increased by one MP, my starting MP, and all gems do 2200 more damage. With him, that's going to give me my starting 5 MP. Uh, obviously, if this was a feud setup, you would need an MP trainer instead of Austin. As far as the belt, I put on uh, Fury Medals, not really optimal or anything. I just put them for the Fury bonus. And I do have the All Art Plate here, which is going to increase my green gem damage by 100% for two turn after generating three sub gems. You could go also with the uh, Ronda Jacket, which increase the yellow and black because green and black are going to be the two da colors that you're going to be using. Let's try that out. We're going to go versus Rocky. Oh crap, they're going to be changing another move. The drop down punch is going to be changed to create a 5 by one area of black gem instead of choose individual black. If I have that, yeah. So let's grab that recording because that move's going to change. <laughs> so right now, this move right there that I'm using is making 6 into black. That's going to be changed into a move that make a 5 by one area of black. No need to record this. It's going to be scrapped. <laughs> Pretty much only need to put one. Uh, although we got that. So let's try to set up. This one's going to be creating. Um, okay. I could use a sub right now. His MP is nowhere near, so I'm just going to use this for now. That. Oh, no, that's not going to work because it connects with this one. Damn it. That just screwed my... Uh, let's do it like that then. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but getting screwed by those two right there. You can do this for a while. Let's see, we do these two. There. There. This one. I kind of fucked this up. Yeah, that's not going to work. I would need to bring so that it doesn't cascade. I would need to do it with the actual move and not set it up that like that. I still did over 600, but yeah, that didn't work. But anyway, I won't be able to use it because they're going to change the move. So <laughs> I'll do this up because I want to see how it looks like. Well, I screwed it up, but that was still a very easy third one win.
Uh, yeah, that man's sigil would be an option indeed. Right, so apparently they changed it. So now I'm going to reload my game and we'll see. Okay. Hey, well, Coyote. Yeah, well, it's because the release is not today, so this is like really early footage. Yeah, that's not changed. Why wasn't there a five-star beta like there was a five-star one? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. So let's do another move set instead while they're fixing this. I want to try the yellows. So this one, choose one, make it to two turn, increase your black MP by nine and make 13 random power gems into multiply gems at the end of the countdown. That means you need to have some power gems on the board. Now you can achieve that either with the submission, which is gonna leave a whole bunch of them, or you can do it with the black move here that is a choose that makes strong power gems. Now it's not as useful to do it with the strong power gems because they're not gonna stay strong. They're gonna be turned in. That's probably why the submission leaves pretty weak power gems because they're probably just meant to be turned. You're gonna get your black on the second turn here. Yeah, first turn you lay the, you lay the the Juggernaut, second turn, you're going to get your black when it goes off, so you can use the submission. Then at the end of the submission for your third turn, you're going to have a bunch of power gems that you're going to be automatically turning into multiply of strength 13. And then you're going to be blowing shit up. Yeah, Leland. All right, let's try this. So we're going to go with yellow. Uh, for this specifically, I don't want my submission to be more turns because the more turn my submission lasts, the more turn he has to destroy some of those. I don't want that. I think instead I'm actually going to go with, is it Kane or Ryback that destroys more multiply gems? Might be both. 
or yellow move that destroy gem that would work too. I could go with Zombie Nakamura that destroy four, but I think Kane and Ryback. So Ryback is four. I think Kane is five. Six actually. That way we're gonna destroy 14 multiplies. And how many are we gonna and it's gonna make 13. So we're gonna be able to destroy all of that. No, Sinkara makes more. Okay. Or multiplies are gonna do a pretty good damage. Well, as such, probably want to increase the damage of my multiplies. Like I could go with either Miz that increased by 15% my multiply gem, or I could go with Rock, which is gonna increase them by five and increase their strain by one which at this point is just gonna be completely ridiculous. So why not go with ridiculous? There you go. I think I'm gonna keep Ogun there just for the extra 2200 on all colors. Since I can't really pick what colors are gonna be, like I'm gonna be destroying all 13. So there's gonna be some from all colors there. Obviously black is my main color. So I think I'm gonna go here with the jacket this time. And I'm gonna try to target black and yellow, which are two of my main colors, really. God, that's the... If there's a comment that I hate to read is, oh, another character I won't get. You can literally say that every fucking week, for fuck's sake. Like, why is it a, sh a shocker, really? You'll never get one. Ever. They're not meant to be obtained every week. At least not for free. Next week, you'll get a free one when the new MLC starts. Sorry, I just get like 50 of those every time I post a preview. Like, oh, another guy I'll never get. Yeah, well, next week either. And last week, either. All right, let's record this. All right, move set, figure four, leg lock, 10 MP black move, submission, generate 40 random submission gems and do 133K damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into power gems of strength 9,000. The Snap Scoop Power Slam 8 MP Yellow Move deal 87.3k damage and choose 8 Multiply Gems to destroy. And the Bionic Elbow 6 MP Yellow Move deal 78.1k damage and choose 1 Gems to make into 2 turn Juggernaut Gem that will increase your Black MP by 9 on every countdown turn and make 13 random Power Gems into Multiply Gems of strength 13 at the end of the countdown. Trainers will use for that. Kofi to start with the yellow uh, striker cane so that we're going to be destroying six extra multiply gems. Uh, I'm putting rock here so that my multiply gems are going to be increased by one and uh, they're going to do 5% more damage. And I got Santa here just so that all gems do 2200 more damage. 
the belt i got the jacket here so that my yellow and black damage is going to be increased by 100 percent for two turn after the sub and that is because black and yellow are two of my top three colors if not the top two nine black no, green is the second one so two of my top three colors all right let's try this So we're gonna lay down the Juggernaut. I like to put them on loot box because the computer rarely ever go for those. Uh, now I can go for black or yellow. I don't have any black, so we're gonna go for yellow. We're gonna get our black anyway with the Juggernaut when it goes off. There you go, we got our black. I do have enough yellow to put another one, so why not? Now you don't want to use that yellow because you don't yet have multiplies to destroy, but you do want to put your power gems there with the submission. I did not boost the submission because I don't want the turns to be increased. Because the more turn it lasts, the more gems he's going to destroy. Go. He's going to have his turn. And now my Juggernaut is going to turn 13 of those into Multiplies. Which are 14x. Oh, a Black does 541k right now. And a, a Green does 259 and I did not get any yellows, unfortunately. I did get three blacks, though. Now we're going to pick all the multiplies to destroy them. It's pretty much all of them, really. Should do a decent amount. Don't think there's any more. Right, let's see how much that is for. And a small cascade plus some power 3.6 mil outside and keep in mind in feuds those multiplies are increased i like that all right let's look at something else on act plus you're making 40 of them, so there's a really good chance that you're gonna have 13 remaining after those three turns. And since you're actually turning them on the same turn that you're destroying them, they're gonna be there. It's not like a couple of the other guys that you're turning them and then the next turn you're destroying them, but they're not there anymore. Okay, something else. Is there anything I could use with the yellows? I guess you could go with the, with this one instead. I don't know why you would, but I guess you could use this instead of the submission. Since you're turning 13, you would need to boost this or be able to use it on both turns. It just makes zero sense to use that instead of the submission. Plus, a submission prevent him to be able to do anything during those turns. Could use this one, although no, if we use that, then it doesn't make sense because we're not getting any. You pretty much need to use the bionic elbow with the submission, otherwise, you got nothing. We're gonna put that back. 
maybe we replace the choose multiply and put something that can convert them that would need to be a black move like this one the cody cutter that way we're going to have the power gems that will be turned into multiply and then we can just choose six gems to make into green at which point i would uh, probably replace kane here and put instead you're going to want to make more green so you can connect more of those is and uh, probably will take off rock and instead i'm gonna put scott all again just get more greens so that way i can try to grab as many of those multiplies i can We'll be making 12 greens to connect those 13 of whatever color they're going to end up being. I think that could work. We will need to change here since all our damage is going to be coming from green gems. We're going to change that to the all art plate. That is going to increase our green gem by 100%. So we're going to have a bunch of 13x plus 100% multiply gems. So this would, uh, and it's not moving the bar either. So well, you could use the, uh, the mankind plate, but I mean, I'm not going to destroy any blacks. So it's kind of pointless for this. Plus I want to boost my 13x multiplies by 100% damage instead. Time? It's 9.13 p.m. Eastern Time right now. All right, let's try this. All right, second move set. I'm gonna be a variation of what we just saw. It's going to be still the figure four leg lock, 10 MP black move, submission generate 40 random sub gems and do 133.3k damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into power gems of strength 9000. The Cody Cutter, 6 MP black move, deal 64.6k damage and choose six gem to make into green gems. The pin bar will not move. And the bionic elbow, 6 MP yellow move. Deal 78.1k damage and choose one gems to make into two turn juggernaut gem that will increase your black MP by nine on every countdown turn and make 13 random power gem into multiply gems of strength 13 at the end of the countdown. Trainers we're going to use for that is Kofi to start with more yellow, Rezzer so that or uh, green uh, are gonna, we're going to have four more green generated by the Cody Cutter. Uh, we're going to have Scott All, All of Fame, so we're getting an extra two, making a total of 12 green gems with a pin bar not moving. And Santa here, just so that all gems do 2200 more damage. Uh, the order we're going to do this is we're going to put out our Juggernaut first. Then on the second turn, we're going to put out the submission, which is going to lay down the uh, power gems we're going to need. On the following turn, they're going to be turned into... 13x multipliers which we're going to be connecting with those 12 gems uh, 12 green gems to do a ton of green gem damage which will be boosted by the all art plate by 100 percent damage let's try that Juggernaut out. 
I'm not gonna touch the greens here. I'll just go and reload the yellow. He's probably gonna go for the green. Figured he would. Let's put another juggernaut. Now we're gonna lay the submission. That's gonna take out his MP2, at least three of them. Okay, now they're gonna get turned into multiplies. We do have a green. It does 362,000 right now. Now we're gonna choose 12. Trying to connect as many as I can. Takes care of all of them but two, three. Now let's see how much that. Four million. And the turn's not over. It will be with the sub. <laughs> I'll keep in mind in feud, the sub will do more damage and the multiply will do more damage too. Uh, no, it's not Moisty. It's not overriding the Juggernauts. As you saw all the times that I used it, the two Juggernauts were like two of the only, like five only gems that were not touched. So it did not overwrite any of them. It like specifically dodged all of them. Hey, Kingy. All right, it is. 918 right now so i guess we are gonna have a look at the blog again let me just go to the bathroom real quick because we're gonna have 30 minutes doing the blog so i'll be right back Right. Okay, let's do that blog. All right. Are you gonna? If you missed it earlier, hey, Brian. 
How you doing, man? Been a while. You're back right on Cody Rhodes. <laughs> so yeah, if you missed it earlier, this blog is very different than the usual blogs. There's a lot of different parts, or you're going to want to pay attention, guys. The American Nightmare returns. Hey, champions, it finally happened. Brand new Cody Rhodes has returned to the WWE and WWE champions with an incredible repertoire of rewards. Earn Cody Rhodes shards in various ways throughout the contest, along with new Tier 5 Fury 2 medals, 6-star tokens, ultimate straps, and more. A six-star evolution dream comes true. Brand new Cody Rhodes can be evolved to from five-star gold to six-star bronze with shards and only one five-star emerald token until September 7th. That means you do not need the 10, uh, you do not need the 10 six-star bronze tokens for Cody specifically and only until September 7th. After that, you will need it. Please note, screenshots are taken from a test environment. Text numbers and dates are subject to change. Schedule. The American Nightmare is going to be on September 2nd at noon Pacific until the 6th at 10 a.m. Pacific. The Faction Frenzy is 24 hours only from, from the 2nd of September at noon Pacific until the 3rd at noon Pacific. The Faction Boss is also 24 hours only on the 3rd at noon Pacific until the 4th at noon Pacific. The Gauntlet is 24, well, actually it is 22 hours only from the 5th at noon Pacific until the 6th at 10 a.m. Pacific. And the limited time flash market for 24 hours on the 3rd at noon Pacific until the 4th at noon Pacific. Now the Faction Boss Info, which I guess is not going to be a, tr a trickster since... Cody is a striker. Not so mysterious anymore. Required faction boss coin can be earned in faction boss battle. The higher the difficulty, the more coins you will need. Remember, each level's reward can be earned four times by beating the boss with a different style. Beating a level earns the rewards of all levels before it. Winning with a full team of faction mates give two times the faction boss coins. I think that's actually new. Or if it was, I never actually paid attention, which I often don't anyway. This time you can battle through 20 levels, starting with four star superstars to climb up the mid levels and use higher rarities to process further and survive the upper level. So yeah, now it is 20 levels, not only 12. Although it doesn't mean that it's harder. It's actually easier early on, because as it said, you can do it with four star superstars. And the level 20 should be about the equivalent, the equivalent of what the old level 12 was. It's basically so that people that don't have those super high five star gold and six star bronze are going to be able to get further along other than being stuck at level nine or 10 as they were. The battle tips in general, a defensive faction boss that utilize a black gem shield and the damage limiter move Boss breaker usage will again be important in tackling the American Nightmare or more than again be important might start being important because so far those have been really useless. Essential raise the roof, damage limiter mitigation, regeneration X with bonus MP generation per gem break and alternatives with the crack in the shield which is shield penetration. Out of superstar strategies, use superstars with the following characteristic. Focus superstar, raise the roof, and regeneration X. Generate multiply gems while utilize increased multiply gem effect and soft counter the increased MP cost. And generate black gem to take down the black gem shield and utilize increased black gem generation. You can redeem your earned boss, boss coin in the Faction Boss Shop for Faction Boss Promoter Shards, Coins, TP, Tokens, Medals, 120 Shards for Brand New Cody Rose, a Random Ultimate Strap, and tons of Superstar Shards that will help you with your next 6-star Bronze Superstar Evo.
please note, if a team member disconnects or leave an ongoing boss battle, the team won't earn the full amount of points for that battle. So as always, if you are not familiar with boss battle, do not queue up with people in a region you are not in. As if, if you are in North America, don't queue with people on the other side of the planet in Europe because you're going to have terrible connection. You're going to get connection error because you're at the other side of the planet. So try to queue with people in your general area. Please note if it... No, we already checked that. Available free shards. Solo contest has 650. Faction contest leaderboard, which is 24 hours only, has up to 400. The faction boss competition for 24 hours only too has 150. Faction boss shop has 120. Limited time tours has about 200. And the overall has 1520 out of 2000. What about typical Scopely connection issue? I don't know. I never had those. Most people that have connection issues are because one of the four people is not in the right area. That's usually how they, people get fucked up because someone queued up that is on the other side of the planet screwing everyone's connection. Get the rest in offers and events on the portal, shard loot, or future contests. The solo contest, play the limited time tour, gauntlet blitz, and the 24 hours only faction contest for massive points and 650 shards of brand new Cody Road, the American Nightmare. Get further with offers and loot and earn new tier 5 Fury 2 metal sets and an American Nightmare Returns logo that lets you choose dreamy rewards. Earn up to 6 million points in the American Nightmare Tours throughout the weekend. Earn nearly 5 million points in the American Nightmare Faction Boss Competition on Saturday. Claim 200k points in the shop. Claim 200k points in the store if you purchase this week's Backstage Pass. Spend one American Nightmare Loot, that's 14k each. Spend an American Nightmare Loot for the first time, that's... 140k once. Jeez, I keep getting messages. Uh, recruit Cody Road, the American Nightmare during the first 24 hours. That's 1.5 mil once. And the max milestone is 15 million. Regular rewards. 500 Cody Road, the American Nightmare shards. 6 American Nightmare shard bags. 14,580 Eat Wave Solo Contest Points, 50 Chad Gable Alpha Academy Shards, 250 Otis Evo Tokens, 2 5 Star Emerald Tokens, 5 5 Star Diamond Tokens, 5 5 Star Gold Tokens, 7 5 Star Silver Tokens, 9 4 Star Gold Tokens, 12,475,200 Coins, and 800 TP. Again, you're going to see there's a lot more resources in all the different events. Well, that's the free part. The additional rewards achieve these milestones and rewards exclusively by spinning the loot, aka you get those if you spend. Four tier 5 Fury 2 metal sets, one per slot. Those are the new ones that are 40% for every two of them. One American Nightmare Returns logo, that's this thing right here. An item as monumental as the American Nightmare's return to WrestleMania. Redeemed for the Red Razor gear, 10 six-star bronze Hall of Fame tokens, or 12 brand new tier five Fury 2 medals. Four American Nightmare Contest shard bags, which have uh, 25 shards. Four American Nightmare shard bags, so uh, there's contest shard bags and regular shard bags. 10,000 Eat Wave solo contest points, 250 Chad Gable shards, 35 five star emerald tokens, 16 five star gold tokens, 24 star gold tokens, 67.5 million coins, and 7.1 thousand TP. 
the top 200 leaderboard rewards one up to five star gold cody rhodes the american nightmare for the top 20 4,000 cody rhodes american nightmare shards 25 star emerald tokens one ultimate strap with up to 100 percent gem damage one ultimate strap with bleed immunity and 15 million coins American Nightmare Faction Boss Competition. Battle the Faction Boss and earn Boss Shop Currency for American Nightmare Shard Bags, Contest Points, and tons of coins. Up to 4.2 million points in the top 800 leaderboard. Assemble your faction and battle the Faction Boss together for awesome rewards. Earn Boss Shop Currency, that's 200 points, no limit. Defeat the Boss on level 15, that's 5k points, no limit. Defeat the boss on level 9 with Cody Rhodes, that's a million once. With, uh, on level 9 with Razor Ramon using Machismo, that's 500k once. On level 9 with Xavier Woods, King Woods, at 500k once. On level 9 with Shawn Michaels, Rocker, 500k once. On level 13 with Stunning Steve Austin, 500k once. And a max milestone is 8 million. Rewards for that as 13 American Nightmare Contest Shard Bags. That's the one that has a chance at posters and shards of strikers. Focus strikers. Uh, one American Nightmare Champion Shard Bag. That's the one that has a chance at 100 shards or the 4-star gold. Two American Nightmare Shard Bag, which has 3-star gold or 25 shards. 4.7 million American Nightmare Solo Contest Points and 32 million coins. Rich gets richer, yeah, as opposed to everything else in life, for sure, yeah. Because that's not how life works, usually. Top 800 leaderboard rewards, up to 4.2 million American Nightmare Solo Contest points. Big time uh, moron, I should say. Nobody gives a shit about DSP. And I'm going to ban your ass if you keep with that Kiwi shit. Because nobody gives a shit about that fucktard. Faction Frenzy Contest, which is 24 hours only. Limited time only. Select, uh, collect Cody Road American Nightmare Shards in the solo contest. Offers and shop events at the portal to progress in this contest and climb up the leaderboard for up to 400 Cody Road shards. Earn a six star bronze token, American Nightmare Legacy Blitz tickets, and with that, a chance at more Cody Road shards in the special shards loot. Assemble your faction and battle the faction bus together for awesome reward. Down up any superstars, that's 20 points. Down up any Legend Era, that's 80 points. Collect Cody Road American Nightmare Shards, that's 10,000 points. Spend a 5-star Emerald Token, that's 400k points. And a max milestone is 600 million. Rewards 14 Ultra Seek and Destroy Prop, which is choose 6 gems to destroy. 38 The Chosen One Props, which is choose 3 gems to make into Black Gem. One six star bronze token, 150,000 focus boss breaker coins, 16 American Nightmare contest shard bags, 7 American Nightmare legacy blitz tickets, 6,000 Eat Wave solo contest points, 36,000 Eat Wave faction competition points, 200 Eat Wave prize wall medallions, 2.5k Eat Wave keys, and 32 million coins. The top 100 leaderboard rewards. Have 400 Cody Road American Nightmare Shards, free random legendary modern strap with guaranteed bonus. Now the limited time tours. Complete the chapters in this limited time tour to earn American Nightmare Shard Bags, contest points, and resources. Earn a 6 star bronze token in the first challenge chapter with either brand new Cody Rhodes or Razor Ramon oozing Machismo. Friday is going to be an open chapter, and the contest superstars are going to be any of the Dusty Roads. Friday is going to be the American Nightmare Challenge 1 at 6-star. 
It is Cody Rhodes or Razor Ramon oozing Machismo on normal. Any Rey Mysterio or any Randy Orton or any Dusty Rhodes on hard. And any Modern Era on L. Saturday is going to be the Alpha Academy plus Modern Era with Chad Gable Alpha Academy and Otis Alpha Academy. Sunday is going to be any Rey Mysterio with Rey Mysterio WCW's Ultimate Cruiserweight. And Sunday is going to be the American Nightmare Challenge 2. Any Razor Ramon, any New Day, and any Raw. That's going to be for Razor Ramon using Machismo on Normal, Xavier Woods, King Woods on Hard, and Thierry All Day on L. And rewards for all those. 6 million American Nightmare Solo Points. 1 American Nightmare Premium Shard Bag. 4 American Nightmare Shard Bags. 1 6 Star Bronze Token. 7.8 million coins. 3 5 Star Diamond Tokens. 3 5 Star Gold Tokens. 4 5 Star Silver Tokens. 6 4 Star Gold Tokens. And more. Now the Blitz, watch out for Sunday's Legacy Shard Loot and offers in case you are close to the unlock. Top Shard's value for a bargain. Progress in the Faction Contest for required Blitz tickets and earn Legacy Loot Coins or Solo Contest Points in this Blitz. Now you are required to use four of them and they are any Rey Mysterio at 5 star, any Dusty Rhodes at 5 star, any Randy Orton at 5 star, and an open slot for six stars only. Obviously, if you can't play the Blitz, which is going to be the majority, you can redeem one Blitz tickets for one American Nightmare Legacy bag in the shop, where you can also find more bags to purchase with cash and reach full pulls, uh, full pulls for the loot. So if you can't do the Blitz, you can turn your Blitz tickets into loot, basically. Uh, get 10 pulls for only three bucks in the shop and those are not limited by the amount you can buy Rewards are gonna be three American Nightmare legacy bags which contain either legacy loot coins or contest points and 5,000 American Nightmare solo contest points and 2 million coins and those are per blitz run Out of five star gold loot and more a dream came true. The American Nightmare is finally in this poster only loot. Get brand new Cody Rhodes at 5 star gold and celebrate his return to WWE with rare focus superstars and gear to help you defeat him in Faction Boss. All posters are 4 star bronze and higher, so don't miss out. Here, Cody, Razor, Ray with gear. And Sunday's Unlimited Legacy Shard Loot. So there's going to be another loot specifically on Sunday. Shards in the Flash Market and this Shard Loot will help you with the unlock. Find 10 pulls for 3 bucks in store on Sunday and finish off your unlocks with this limited time source of Cody Rhodes Shards, including poster and huge shard amount to help upgrade your superstars. You see here, there's Cody 5 to 400. And there's a bunch of guys at 500, and I'm sure there's other amounts. And there's going to be the forum giveaway too, eventually. That is pretty much it. Get back in. And we're going to reload the game. Move should be fixed now. Yeah, there's definitely a lot going on indeed. Friday, noon, like every weekend event. Noon Pacific, that is. All right, the move has changed. It is now a five by one area to swap into Black Jack. Will it cover? I don't know. We went through the date already a few times. Let's go through the dates again. It's from September 2nd to September 6th. 
Labor Day is the fifth, so yeah. But those are all 24 hours only events. All right, now we're gonna have a look at what we're gonna go on the, on the road. Or now we can use the other move set. All right. So we're going to use that move. We're going to keep that one. And we're going to make some power jets. This will give us back here. How much does the move cost? Five, so I don't even need to put any MP trainer. I do need to keep Santa though. Second is obviously gonna be Randy. Uh, not Randy, but uh, Riddle. Definitely want to boost those power gems. And increase their strength as well. Baker. Yo, 53% increase. And create one extra. And then for the other one, you can go either with putting Nakamura to increase their strength even more. Or you can go with, I think it's Triple H to make just more of them. Something like that would work pretty good. We're going to make 11 gems of strength 97k. That. We're going to use the Mankind Mask. Because when you break six or more blacks, we make five random into power gem. Are we gonna break six though? Let me check. Five by one arena into black. So you definitely wanna match that five by one on a black, which mean you might get screwed because if you don't have one of those black on the outside area that you can match that five by one, you're not going to get your six black for the Mankind plate. So I'm not too sure that Mankind plate is that reliable. We'll try, we'll see. All right, let's record this. All right, other move set. It is gonna be the Disaster Kick. Six MP black move, deal 77.2K damage, and choose six gem to make into power gems of strength 55K. The Cody Cutter, six MP black move, deal 64.6K damage, and choose six gems to make into green gems. The pin bar will not move. And a drop down punch, five MP green move, deal 66.4K damage, and choose a five by one area to swap into black gems. Trainers, we're gonna use uh, Triple H so that we create four more power gems. We're gonna use 
uh, Outlaw Taker, so that my Power Gems are doing 53% more damage, and I make one extra. Riddle, so that they, all my Power Gems are doing 13,000 extra. And I got Santa Hogan here for the extra 1 MP, so I can start with the 5 without having uh, any MP trainer. I did switch the plate here. I still have a Fury. I, I would probably go instead with armor, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I do have the Mankind Mask, which is whenever you break six or more blacks, make five random gems into Power Gem of Strength 50k. Now the issue is that is you need to break six, and I'm going to be making a five by one area. That means we need on the outside a black so that I can match with it, so we can get a six match to get those to go off. So that's kind of a wild card if that can even happen or not. Let's try that. All right, we are lucky. You have a black. I'm going to put it on top just because the higher you put it, the less chance you got of something cascading. Which it still did. Alright, so those are currently 50k, and they're actually more than that. It shows 50k, but they do get uh, the bonus from the trainers and all. Now we're going to make more power gems. And something like this. Now we're going to choose six to make into green. Got myself a little black too. That did 1.7 million. And this one is going to end my turn anyway. And damage from the power gem should be more than the health of his life anyway. It just destroyed a few though. But with the power gems, that was more damage than he had health anyway. So that works out pretty well as well. Hey, right, let's keep looking. That plate would work on all of I don't even remember the movesets and anything for all of fame. I don't have him, so I did his preview like a year and a half ago, but I haven't touched him since. I kind of like the Juggernaut set better too, yeah. Uh, what else can we do here? Mm, so I guess you could put the sub instead of this, although your power gen will definitely won't be as strong. You're just not getting that much damage from that moveset, really. Yeah, that's a big F, though, L Professor. You need a board that is really, really good for you. Like, the board I had now, I couldn't. The best I could break was three. So you need, really need... Because you're not making that many greens. So, like, unless you get a real... Like, you get a double line of three. Like, it's almost impossible that it's going to happen. Like, it can happen, but the odds are so low... It's going to be super unreliable to try to do it. This 
Probably wouldn't work great. That's probably the tree move set. Like you can probably go with other, but at that point you're probably stretching and just trying shit for shit. Mission won't really go well here. Might get a plate at some other point. Yeah, well, you'll you'll make two more. Those extra two won't generate more blacks that are going to be perfectly lined up, though. More chance, yeah, but still, like, very unlikely to happen. Yeah, you'll make two more. So, I mean, those extra two are not really going to be helping you much to get another three, and that's if you even have a first three that can cascade on each other. Because you still need to grab six of those, and you already have like one fourth of the board that is some power gems you're not going to want to touch. One doesn't make much sense. Because you're not going to have it like, you're not going to have any damage from that. I guess you can go maybe for green. I don't know. I'm actually curious if you're going to get the damage from. I'm going to try it just for shits and giggles. I'm not even going to switch trainers. I just want to see if the if the damage from the power gems that are left after the submission are, are getting boosted or not. It's probably not going to show that they are, but it might still. Angelo. Right. We're gonna lay down the submission. I'm not recording this one. I want to see if it works first. it says that they do 26.9 so they definitely got increased because it's over the 9,000 it said now we're gonna see if they do 26 or more they did 26 all right so it's still a good amount so this definitely works since they are getting increased. And now, if I want five to get more, I need to grab this one, grab this one. That way we're gonna get the bonus from the plate. There. This is just going to end this. I'll get the one black I need. No more health. Alright, so this works better than I thought. Because we still get... We still get the uh, increase from the trainers. Try that again, but we'll optimize the setup a bit now that we know it's working. Might not need to change much though. Mm. So I don't need Triple H anymore because I'm not manually generating them. I could put Nakamura though.
It's not a huge increase that it gives because it, it increased by 50% the base of it and the base is 9,000. So it's not gonna increase that much. It's really gonna add like 4,500 or something. So we're probably gonna be doing around 31K each. You'd love to see Solo Seiko in the game. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have him at some point. All right, let's try that one and record it. All right, variation of that. We're going to use the figure four leg log this time. 10 MP black move submission, generate 40 random sub gems and do 133k damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into power gems of straight 9,000. Uh, the remaining two moves are going to be the same we just tried. Trainers, we don't need Triple H anymore, so replacing him with Nakamura. We keep uh, Outlaw Taker and Riddle to increase the strength of the power gems we're going to be leaving because 9,000 ain't going to do much. This should round up around 31,000. And we keep Santa here so we don't need any MP trainer. We will keep also the... Uh, the Foley plate or Mankind plate. Well, he can't yet, Oklahoma. He actually needs to be officially hired first. And then approved. All right, so we need to connect to one black, which we can. So that or uh, extra Mankind, oh, come on. Well, that screwed up our turn right there. We had a bad cascade. That's gonna take us one extra turn than it should have taken. took care of his multipliers. <laughs> we'll take care of his MP2. Right. Now we're going to get some greens. Really care about getting that many greens really. I don't want my thing to end. Oh, that's the move that doesn't move the pin bar anyway. I forgot. I could have gone for better. I forgot that it didn't move the pin bar. Okay. Now we want this to give us one extra or connect to one extra so we get more. So I'm gonna lose two power gems here. I'm going to get a bunch from the Mankind Plate, which are going to be very strong. They are all 31k, so he's already out of Velt. So even though I screwed up, that's still an easy one. So yeah, pretty damn strong character. Uh, no, we're not on Jello, although I'll be posting it shortly. So that's pretty much it for the stream, guys. Let's see if we have someone we can go raid. I will be posting both the blog and the preview on my channel shortly. I just need to mix them up. Is there anyone streaming champion? No, there's not. So I guess we're not going to be raiding anyone because no one's on right now. 
So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I will have a stream on my channel tomorrow uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to be there. Thanks for watching, guys. Gia.